going to bring in the national chairperson of the ANC, Mr. Samson Kwedemandashe. You said that uh, there are rebel movements all across Africa being led by former presidents. Is yeah. your former president leading a rebel movement? No, no, I'm talking of, of probabilities and possibilities in the continent of Africa. That when uh, presidents don't want to give away power, half the time they ultimately come up into rebel movements. I was telling somebody yesterday that Savim became a of a movement that was regarded as revolutionary at a point, but he wanted power. Uh, Bozizi in the Central African Republic is leading a rebel movement. Lagama is from Frelimo. Is leading a rebel movement. It's, it's normal in the continent when you want power, you want to retain it forever. You will open a rebel movement. All we must watch, it must not be armed. That's all. So in essence, you are diagnosing and your analysis at this point in time of the party that has now been joined or formed by your former leader, whom you led with the Secretary General yes. for, over dec- for over a decade, yes. is a rebel movement. Yes. Now, you see, that president led me for 10 years. I was his Secretary General. He never told me that that ANC was his ANC. Now, when you talk of, of Ramaphosa's ANC today, he's teaching me something new. I will have to unlearn what he taught me and learn the new. Uh, so if uh, the President Zuma led the ANC for two terms without contest, he must appreciate that now time is for the next leader. Actually, it's close to a leader after Ramaphosa. So he must just accept that it will move on. And that talks to an issue that I raised with members of the NSA, the NSA must deal with its own transition, that there will be older leaders, there will be older leaders who are going to be fewer and fewer. Younger leaders must fuse in. That is what we call generational mix, and we must manage that carefully and not uh, explain it to inflict pain on us. When you look at the community of Mpumalanga moving away from MK, there's a lot of poverty within the specific province. There's a lot of issues pertaining to development of the areas. Some roads are infected with potholes due to the trucks traveling in the coal belt of this specific area. What are some of the issues that you as the African National Congress will be bringing in resolving some of the societal issues facing these people of Mpumalanga? Prevalence of, of potholes in Mpumalanga is not a reflection of poverty. It's a reflection of a problem which is the heartland for energy for the country. Coal is mined here. Electricity is generated here. You see, actually, of the 14 power stations that are run, 12 are in Pumalanga. And therefore, that is not a sign of poverty. That is the sign of a heartland of generating energy for the country, not only for the province. So Pumalanga, we must attend to its problems because it has the capacity. But if... We are entertaining a debate that says close coal mines, close power stations. I can tell you that we are then planting a seed for poverty. National Chair, and I'll also bring you, Mr. Nlovu. On the issue of power stations, you've been very vocal in saying that you cannot co- close coal mines. Can we just give a diagnosis of what has happened with Komati Power Station and how that specific community has been affected by the closure of that power station? Let me do that for you. Uh, I'm a Minister of Energy. Yeah. I can do that for you <laughs> better. Yeah. You see, Komati was closed prematurely. Okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's an energy transition, but it's not just. In the sense that it was closed when it was generating a number of megawatts and employing a number of people. The number of people employed is much fewer. The megawatts generated is much less. So that can't be just. So there is a transition that is not just. So it's an example of how we should not do transitioning in energy. Command is one example that we must learn. It is not a just transition. It is bad example of transitioning. Have you invited your former deputy president out in Barberton to join you this weekend? I don't understand why... Everybody is interested whether Comrade Mabuza is going to attend this big event or not. We must know that Mabuza is a member of the ANC and as the former president, deputy president of the ANC is going to be invited.
uh, to that event. So we are not sure whether he will attend or not, but he's going to be invited. If he will have time, then he is going to attend as a member of the African National Congress. All of us, we are going to the stadium. And Comrade Mabuza, if he will have time, he is also going to be part of this massive celebration of the birth of the African National Congress. National Chair, last one to you. Have you spoken with your Secretary General Figilam Balula with those revelations he made about the fire pool, about Nkandla and former President Jacob Zuma, which some have perceived as him decampaigning his own party? I don't know if um, uh, th- those were revelations. I think I, I, I listened very carefully to what he said as Secretary General. He's my Secretary General. I thought he was carried away by yourself, guys. <laughs> uh, he saw your cameras, he got taken away, <laughs> and he said things he should not have said. Uh, to me, uh, it's an issue that we have to deal with it internally, that when you lead, you count every word you say. If you don't, you catch fire. And, and, and I think it's something that you learn in the trade. As you grow in the trade, you understand that better. You can say things that uh, you are saying without being excited, but say things and explain things very well. For example, let me give you an example. He talked about a water pool, a fire pool. And I reminded comrades that we went to Ganja, we saw that swimming pool, we came out, ambushed us and asked, what did you see? We told journalists, this is a swimming pool, but because there's a lot of water, in case of fire, it can be used as a fire pool. We closed the case. Because it's a swimming pool with a lot of water, in case of fire, you can use that water (laughs) as a fire pool. So that closed the case. I don't know why do you reopen that today. I can't understand it. But are you not worried that he? it's becoming a trend with your Secretary General for him just to blurt out things, not have speaking notes? When you go to manifesto reviews, he doesn't speak about what you've done in government, but he speaks about internal dynamics and people's names. For instance, what he spoke about in KwaZulu-Natal in the manifesto review. I know that growing into a role is a painful process. And I am a great believer that you allow companies to grow into roles. If you rush them into roles, you are going to make them commit a lot of mistakes. And a mistake, a mistake, uh, 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 some girl, is like, uh, is, is, is like a, 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 a stranger you meet in your journey to success. You know, failure is a stranger you meet in your journey to success. And every time you come across a failure, don't despair, don't give up. Appreciate that you have met this this uh, stranger, you're on your way to success. That's the same thing in playing roles. Uh, I love a Secretary General who likes talking because that means he will grow faster into the role of a Secretary General uh, because he talks, he engages with issues. If you commit mistakes in that process, it's not the end of the story. Are you going to expel Jacob Zuma from the party? He's not expelled, he has walked away. You don't, Are you going- no, you don't expel a person who has walked away. There's no need to expel him, he has walked away. Are you not going to take him to a DC? There's no need, he has walked away. So simply you are ignoring him, you are blue-ticking him? He is, he has walked away. So what, what action do you take to a person who has talked away, walked away? He has walked away. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Montaji. You can't do anything with a person who walks away. That is the actual person of the ANC. Essentially saying, Jacob Zuma has walked away. There is nothing you can do with a person who's walked away. And speaking about having to unlearn some of the things he learned from Zuma for the past decade, that former President Zuma was the helm of the ANC. And also speaking about the Secretary General saying that he should have not mentioned issues of the fire pool of Inkanda because he's reopening a debate that they closed when they visited the former president's home in Nkandla after that investigation by the public protector. Samgela Masako there speaking to us and of course uh, speaking to us from Gwamhlanga uh, where we are seeing the ANC really continuing with those activities as they get closer and closer to the January 8th statement that will be delivered uh, this weekend and of course we'll keep you updated on all of those activities.